Hi, this is Milan of Slow Natural Wellness. Today is all about cooking oil, something that's in everyone's cabinet and something that more than likely you use all the time without even thinking about it. You use it in your salad, you use it on your plate, you use it when you're cooking, and, and you've probably been told that it's heart healthy. Well, we're gonna de demystify that because olive oil is not good for cooking. And if you've been using it, you're gonna learn why in this video. So first I wanna tell, I wanna show, share with you who am I? Who am I to tell you about cooking and eating and dining? Well, my name is Milan Perry and I'm Milan Perry of Soul Natural Wellness. So the reason that I decided to do this video um, is because I've coined the phrase chic women don't diet. And the reason that I coined that expression is because the women that I work with, they are women who enjoy dining out, but at the same time, they want to either lose weight, maintain their weight, but they really want to dine out without the guilt. So this subject matter is so important because whenever you're not dining out, you're dining in. So it's still that element of dining in. So whenever you're dining in, you're cooking with things that are in your cabinet and you may not even know the reason why you cook with it or the, how to get the best outcome. So when it comes to oils, any oils across the board, whenever you cook with them, they're always transformed because heat is what transformed them and it makes them either, it makes them bad. It basically makes them oxidize and all these other things get into it. So some of the oils that you may have in your home already is maybe vegetable oil, canola oil, or maybe use olive oil because you heard it's a heart healthy oil. Um, there's sunflower oil, safflower, the soybean oil, maybe there's peanut oil. And one of my, one of the ladies in my group mentioned that she uses avocado oil and another one mentioned that she uses peanut oil. Well, I'm going to share with you the best oils, the oils that I use. And I'm also going to share with you the reason that I said olive oil is bad for cooking. So there are certain oils um, that I feel you need to know about. For example, there are certain oils that can raise your HDL or your, um, in the blood so that's your your high density lipoprotein and the reason is is because of the fat so that's like your olive oil your canola oil and your nut oils you know all of your avocado pumpkin seed oils those are your really good oils to use that are monosaturated fats so those are good the other oils there are some of them that can actually reduce your risk of heart disease so those oils are like your uh, sunflower, your soybean oils, your, um, your cooking oils, basically. Those are your omega-3s, so which is also good. Your 6 and your 3, those are really good as well. And then there's other oils that can elevate your LDL, which is your low-density lipoprotein. Um, so those are like your butter, your lard, your palm, or your palm coconut, your palm kernel. So those are the oils that you you kind of want to stay away from because they will elevate your LDL. And then there's the other oils like your, that will increase your LDLs, like your shortening your margarine. And if you're still cooking with shortening or even margarine, if you're from the Southern states, get rid of it, get rid of it because they will definitely call it clog your arteries. So let's really get into the meat of olive oil. Is that good for you? The first thing I want to tell you is that very different oils have a smoke point. And the reason that that's so important is because oils have a smoke point of from like 300 all the way up to like 400 or even 500 Fahrenheit once it starts to be cooked. So if you're cooking something of high heat, if you're trying to get, if you're frying food, first of all, you should not even be frying food. If you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle, frying food is just not the best thing to be doing. But do something different like saute. I mean, everyone can, anyone can roast. Just put a little salt and pepper season on it and just pop it in the oven. That's easy. But do something different, something a little bit more flavorful, something that adds color and caramelization. Do something like caramelizing. Do sauteing. Try something like poaching. Do something different with your food. So olive oil, when you cook it, what happens is you change the composition of the oil 
and now all these other fats and these bad things start to happen to the oil so actually you're really making it worse so if you're cooking with olive oil that is not the best oil to be using because olive oil will smoke the minute you put it into a hot skillet and I can tell you from experience I was working with a client um, when I was doing a lot of personal chefing I was working with a client and I knew that grapeseed oil is the best oil to use and I forgot my grapeseed oil that's another oil I'm going to tell you about so I was I only had olive oil with me in my stash the minute I started cooking the minute I turned up my pan my saute pan and it got hot and I put oil in it because it was the only oil I had my pan smoked up their entire apartment their condo so olive oil is the worst oil that you can use whenever you're cooking with cooking on high temperature in fact if you're using olive oil to cook with stop it the only thing that olive oil I'm going to show you my bottle this is what I just get big ones I if I catch a, an amazing sale I'll get two of these bottles and just keep them so olive oil it oxidizes it breaks down um, you get all these really nasty things inside of it so you don't want to cook with olive oil if you're going to be using olive oil at all olive oil is meant to be used as a finishing olive oil is meant to be used as something that you would put on your salad um, so one of the oils that a lot of other people have the tendency to use as well is maybe like your coconut oil coconut oil is a good oil but the problem is that it has flavor it has all of this flavor so if you're cooking something and you really want to taste the flavor of your food coconut oil is not the best oil to use um, if you're cooking with something let's say peanut oil and you're deep frying or like I said mm -mm -mm, don't deep fry but if you're cooking something using peanut oil or I even have with me a sesame seed oil so the only time I will use anything of that nature is if I'm making Asian cuisine so anything that's like something that is a stir fry um, something that requires maybe a curry you want to use Asian oils along with Asian spices because you would get the best outcome for your food and the thing about any Asian oils is that they have a very high smoke point so they can sustain heat temperatures up to like maybe 500 which is perfect if you're cooking that olive oil it doesn't sustain high heat the one oil that will sustain high heat and this is the oil that I use all the time I use grapeseed oil I'm not plugging this I'm not a um, I'm not plugging this product this is just what I just happened to use so I use grapeseed oil it may even say rapeseed oil and the reason is because grapeseed oil oil has a very high smoke point so if you're using it that is the best oil to use because of the high smoke point um, so if you're cooking high and you're trying to get a beautiful sear grapeseed oil another oil that you should not use and if you use this get rid of it I've had it for so long I just keep it this is like your grill spray um, I don't use that stuff if I'm gonna use anything on my grill I'll just take a brush and I'll you put some oil on it my grapeseed oil and I'll brush it because first of all grapeseed oil is flavorless it will stay in high temperatures and it's also flavorless so it's not going to compete with your food you want your food the flavor of your food to come through you don't want oils to compete with that delicious flavor so the reason that olive oil is bad for cooking because it's not heart, he heart healthy if you're going to be cooking with it if you're just going to be putting it on your your um, salad if you're going to use it as a finishing it is a perfect oil to use so I hope that answers your question and and I really wanted to share that with you because it came up in my group chic women don't diet and I just felt that those that are following me need to know this as well because this is information if you want to live a healthy lifestyle there are so many variables and what works for one person doesn't work for someone else and in all honesty having a culinary background being a chef being a health and wellness coach being a culinary nutrition there is no one perfect way I feel that food is good there is no good food bad food if you have a taste for it you eat it 
I didn't say gorge on it. Don't overindulge on it. Eat in moderation. Allow your body to speak with you. Allow your body language to let you know what it needs. That's the way I feel about food. There is no one size fit all. So if you're following some template, if you're following a book that says eat this, eat that, that's not the best way to eat. The best way to eat is looking within. That is the best way to eat. I have throughout my journey, um, being in the wellness and even being in the culinary, if you notice, a lot of chefs are overweight. Um, and I recognize that, which is why I started really, really paying more attention to my, what was going into my body, how I was eating, how I was eating at home and how I was eating dining out. Because if you're dining out, maybe two or three times a week, you're going to be getting a lot of grapeseed oil in your food. You, you're also going to be getting a lot of canola oil in your food. So if you're trying to lead a healthy lifestyle and say, well, okay, well, I'm only going to eat, um, avocado. That's where I'm going to get my fat from. But if you're eating avocado and you're dining out and they're putting canola oil in your food, because when you're dining out, you don't know what you're getting. So they're putting canola oil in your food to saute with or cook at high temperatures. Because like I said, in a restaurant, in hospitality, dining out, you're going to have food that's been cooked at high temperatures because they want to get you in and get you out and they want to get the food going. So if you're eating dining out, now you're getting fat from there. Fat is flavor. I love fat. But if you're eating in a way to live a healthy lifestyle or to minimize the fat that you're putting in your body, you're not doing it properly because if you're eating an avocado at home, maybe a whole or even a half, and then you go out to dinner, they're going to saute your food or, or whatever they're going to do with it, but they're going to cook it in olive. They're going to cook it in grapeseed or they're going to cook it in canola oil. There's the fat right there. And if you choose, you know what, I think I'm going to have a fish or I'm going to have salmon or mackerel, or I'm going to have sardines or anchovies, whatever you have for lunch or dinner, that's fat. So you're collecting all these fats. So that's not how to live a healthy lifestyle. So you're going to have an accumulation of fat in your body and you're trying to figure out how I can lose the weight. Something's got to give. You have to pay attention to what your body needs at any given moment and to really be listening and to tune into that. So one other thing I want to make mention before I leave about oils is that really be careful in dining out, dining in, just really be cautious and use moderation with whatever you're doing um, and enjoy food. Food is meant to be enjoyed. There's no such thing as bad food. God made all food and is good. Unless all that, um, ex with the exception of that processed stuff. Mm -mm, he didn't make that. Man made that. But everything that God made is good. So we cannot say that's good, that's bad. The only bad thing is what you do to it. When you learn how to perfect or even just add a little bit of finesse and give what you're cooking a little bit of love then it always comes out great. It works out perfect for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, share it with someone else because knowledge is power. It's power. So what you know, share it with someone else so they will know dining in and dining out, it takes finesse. Dining in and dining out is what your body, your body is craving and give your body what it craves, but do so in a very chic way. So I hope you enjoyed it. Share this video and give me, um, say, hey, Milan, I enjoy that particular point or let me know something. So I will talk to you soon. Until our next time, stay beautiful and healthy.